Our Earth has a hole, a massive gravitational hole at that, and scientists are pretty much at a loss. But now there's a possible explanation, and it's absolutely crazy. Make sure you stay tuned until the end to find out all about our gravity hole. If you like it, I'd be galactically happy to receive a thumbs up and a comment to show this exciting topic to even more people. Thank you, friends, and welcome. Our Earth is Swiss cheese. Well, at least from a gravitational point of view, it's full of holes. Yummy, gravity cheese. What is a gravitational hole anyway? They are also known as gravitational anomalies and are basically areas where the Earth's gravitational force is unusually weak or strong. That sounds strange because most people assume that gravity is the same everywhere on the planet. Whether I jump up in Australia or in France, I come down the same way everywhere, right? Not really, because the gravitational force acting on us is influenced by many factors. Of course, it is not so massively different anywhere that people would suddenly float away like balloons, which would probably look very funny, but it does differ. For example, it decreases with increasing distance from the center of the Earth. Imagine you are standing on Mount Everest. Since you are further away from the center of the Earth, the gravitational force there is somewhat weaker than at sea level. In a deep valley, you are closer to the center of the Earth, and therefore the gravitational force there is somewhat stronger than on Mount Everest. This difference in altitude leads to a noticeable variation in the gravitational force, and therefore also to a different influence of gravity on time. This means that if I wanted to time travel, I would only have to stand at the top of Mount Everest for long enough and then come back down. Brilliant. Please don't sue me if you try this and fall off the mountain. To carry out a really significant time travel, we would also need massive gravitational differences. A black hole would be enough, for example. But first things first. The gravitational force acting on us therefore varies depending on our position on Earth. Why? Gravity is the force that attracts two masses and moves them towards a common center. On Earth, the force of gravity pulls all objects towards the center of the Earth. This is the reason why we stay on the surface of the Earth and do not float in space. So it is logical that the further I move away from the center of the Earth, the less gravity acts on me. But now there is another factor. The Earth is not a perfect sphere. Oh no, I can already hear the Flat Earthers cheering. One, two, three, we're crazy! But that doesn't mean it's flat. The Earth has a slightly flattened shape due to its rotation which means that the gravitational force is slightly stronger at the poles than at the equator. This is due to the centrifugal force generated by the Earth's rotation, which compresses the Earth slightly at the poles or bulges it out at the equator. The Earth is therefore also referred to as a rotational ellipsoid. But this alone cannot explain how asymmetrical gravitational holes can occur. However, the Earth is not perfectly uniform in its structure either. The composition of the Earth's crust mantle and core varies from place to place, and these differences can also lead to fluctuations in the gravitational force. For example, a region with a thicker crust can have a stronger gravitational force than a region with a thinner crust. So to summarize, we can say that gravity holes are areas where the Earth's gravitational force deviates from what we would expect based on the planetary average. These deviations can either be positive meaning that the gravitational force is stronger than average, or negative, meaning that the gravitational force is weaker than average. And one of the most massive and mysterious gravitational holes is the negative hole in the Indian Ocean, known as the Indian Ocean Geoid Low, or IOGL for short. This gravitational hole extends over an area of 3 million square kilometers. The gravitational force over the IOGL is so weak that the sea level here is an incredible 106 meters below the global average. And although scientists already know in the abstract how gravitational holes are created, there has not yet been a satisfactory explanation for this monster. The only thing that was clear was that a massive geological force must be at work here. Before we come to the explanation we have now found, I would be interested to hear your theory. Without having watched the video any further, how do you think this massive gravitational hole is created? What lies dormant in the Earth's interior that causes it? I'm very curious to see if you can figure it out.
A new study published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters seems to have solved the mystery. It states, the cause of this geoed low has been puzzling. Various theories have been proposed to explain this negative geoid anomaly. All of these studies looked at the anomaly of the present and did not address how this geoid low originated. For the answer, we need to travel back in time to 200 million years ago. At that time, the Tethys Ocean existed between the supercontinents of Laurasia and Gondwana. Both India and Africa were part of the Gondwana continent. When the continental plates shifted and the Indian plate broke away from Gondwana, it began to drift towards the Eurasian continent. On its way, the Indian plate passed the Tethys plate, which was already part of the Tethys Ocean. This process led to the Indian plate subducting the Tethys plate, i.e. pushing it underneath itself. Of course, we are talking here about processes that took place over very long timescales, because continental plates move more slowly than I do in the morning before my fifth coffee. And that's really slow. The subducted Tethys plate was then pushed deeper and deeper into the Earth's mantle. Here, the fragmented remains of the ancient Tethys ocean began to slowly sink into the Earth's lower mantle. This slow descent took millions of years. So you see, when a plate is subducted, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will eventually come out somewhere else. It can actually be pushed deep into the Earth. Something already existed down there, namely the African blob. And it's not an African swamp frog species or something, even though I once asked the AI to show me a picture of it, as you can see here, but it's a dense bubble of crystallized material in the mantle of Africa about the size of a continent and a hundred times higher than Mount Everest. About 20 million years ago, the descent of the Tethys plate caused parts of this plate to displace the magma of the African blob trapped under the Indian Ocean. The displacement of the magma by the sinking Tethys plate led to the formation of upward currents of low-density hot magma which ultimately caused the gravitational anomaly in the Indian Ocean. These upward flows significantly weakened the gravitational force in the region and lowered the sea level. I know these processes in the Earth's interior are super complex, so I'll summarize it again in very simple terms. So an Earth plate moved into the depths of our planet, pushing aside the magma of the African blob, allowing magma with a lower density to rise. This created an empty region with a lower density and less mass overall. And we can still see this today in the gravity hole. One of the researchers involved puts it like this. What we see is that hot, low density material from this blob lies beneath Africa under the Indian Ocean, creating this geoid low. So that my channel doesn't get a gravity well, I'd be super happy if you'd all follow now. I know from the YouTube stats that over half of the viewers haven't subscribed at all but it's absolutely free and you'll never miss another galactic video. So guys, hit subscribe, thank you so much. But our Earth doesn't just have gravitational anomalies, it also has a hole in its magnetic field. And some scientists think this could indicate an imminent pole shift. Oh dear. You can find out when we can expect this and how high the danger is in the video below. Be sure to watch it. And if you wanna support my work, why not treat yourself to one of my galactic t-shirts, real meteorites, and lots of other cool stuff in my space store. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, friends.